Now, no need for sirens yet in most of the county today, but that lack of sirens a couple of weeks ago has some area residents worried. As Fox 11's Bill Miston tells us, those responsible for sirens say they are not the only thing people should rely on. This evening, we bring you multiple views. I looked at my phone, um, thought, wow, this looks really bad, and, but didn't hear the sirens, so I went back to bed. Didn't Cheryl Wickman lives in Nina, but works in Appleton. She says between the severe storms earlier this month and what seems to be an inconsistent sounding of the tornado sirens in Appleton when she's working, she's sticking with what she knows. I rely on the weather channel. I rely on the local news, the radio, my, my weather alerts that come on my computer and things. I definitely do use the TV, the, the news stations. But I think, you know, with the prevalence of those smartphones, a lot of people have them now, so I think it's, that's a big factor now in um, making people aware of what's going on. Others say emergency management officials sometimes only know so much. Sometimes uh, these storms, even though they have the information that they're coming, uh, they're not as concerned about it because they don't know how much damage it'll do. Some area emergency management officials say tornado sirens can only do so much. People need to prepare for storms and severe weather by setting themselves up to receive as much information as possible from multiple sources, like from weather radios. In our profession, we, we call it a toolbox. You want to have as many tools in that toolbox to you know, be able to prepare yourself. Interim Emergency Management Director Paul Gazdick says Brown County will only sound its sirens if a tornado is sighted by a trained spotter, a sheriff's deputy, or in response to an alert from the National Weather Service. Gazdick says weather radios and text alerts, like through Fox 11, are two of the best ways to help protect you and your family in the event of severe weather. Sirens only add to that. Bill Miston, Fox 11 News. Gazdick says people should pay attention to the sirens, even if there does not appear to be any severe weather at the time. Further, he suggests practicing your emergency procedures and have an emergency kit prepared. 